Hi, thanks for watching. This is George here at Wicked Warnings again. Here we have a brand new 2018 Jeep. Trim line on this is Latitude. It is the Cherokee. Uh, it's one of the simpler versions of the Cherokee, not the Grand Cherokee. It has a little bit different grille. What we have in the front of this Jeep is a set of LED HAW duos. We went with this because uh, we've got a, a few of these Jeeps all getting done the same way for a engineering company. They are concerned about damage. So we've surface mounted the HAW Duo with our mounting flange in black right on the grill. I'll show you what I'm talking about a little closer. Right here you can see how we've used the mounting flange in black and a LD HAW Duo. This allowed us to surface mount a set of hideaways right here on the front of the grill. That way they can be removed without any damage to the grill so when the vehicle's turned in we don't have any holes to explain or any payments to make for the damages caused by lighting. Here you can see we went with a very fast double flash pattern alternating. The other reason that I picked this particular light out is I did try to put a TIR3 behind the grill and with this honeycomb grill it just was less than impressive coming through the grill. Now this is a budget or a budget friendly build on this uh, particular Jeep. We didn't have a big budget to pour lighting all over the Jeep so we did need to go with something simple and effective on the front of the vehicle. I'm gonna back up a little bit and let you see just how effective these lights are in the bright midday sun that we're in right now. So here we are quite a ways back. Just ignore that gigantic tire left of the screen that would just uh, be the wicked warnings Jeep there. If you're ever in the Chicago area and you're enjoying off-roading give us a ring and make sure you visit us and uh, maybe take a ride in that Wicked Warnings Jeep. That one right there. But you can see here how far back we are and how we've got a nice bright amber flash, very visible, very pronounced with a slight outward angle. So when this vehicle is on the side of the road during busy times doing his engineer and surveying duties, he's protected. Around the back we went with our Wicked Warnings stick and I'm going to show you that right now. In the back window there you can see we have our six head Wicked Warnings stick and this is about as bright a midday sun as we can get here in Chicagoland. We are in mid-June without a cloud in the sky and uh, we still got a very adequate warning coming through that dark tinted window. I'm going to show you how else we mounted that because there is work that gets done out of this vehicle loading and unloading of surveying and engineering equipment and such things in the back so we mounted that stick in a fashion that when the hatch is open they don't lose warning and what i mean by that is it's coming down off the headliner and that way when the hatch is up the stick is still visible and the workers are still protected i'll show you a little closer of the mounting here inside the vehicle you can see how we've simply attached it to the headliner with a simple L bracket, ran the wiring discreetly underneath the paneling on the left hand side there and up to the front of the vehicle where the switch is. This way we have a very minimal damage back here and there actually is a plastic type mushroom cap plug that we can put into the screw holes in the headliner there and uh, it'll look basically like there was never a light stick back here. Only the most discerning eye will notice that uh, the little caps are over the screw holes. Once this light gets de-outfitted when the end of life vehicle is reached and it gets time to sold, sell off, uh, we will have damage free. So here's a straight on shot to blind you. And once again, I thank you for watching Wicked Warnings. This is George. Check the description and the link for purchase purchasing information. Check us out on all our social media icons. Get in touch with us on YouTube, Facebook, any of the above. And thanks again for watching Wicked Warnings.